Hi everyone, welcome to our G4G Atelier office with your G4G team, Indra and Alex. So today we heard from some amazing speakers on the theme of resilience. And of course, in typical G4G style, you're going to have a resilient experiment. Indeed. So we're going to look at resilience today. So what is it? Resilience is actually an amazing tool or an ability that lets us tackle and take on all types of challenges. Um, it is what lets us cope with uncertainties, complexities and changes in the environments that we are part of. Um, it connects to characteristics like stamina, but also our passion to reach long-term goals. Resilience, importantly, is also connected to our ability to continuously learn and to adapt to changes and things that we actually cannot change. So resilience is also our ability to learn to take different paths that can let us reach all those amazing goals that we have. So in our experiment today, we're going to see how resilience helps us not only personally, but also our communities. Get ready. Hi everyone, I'm Dana and I'm a new intern at G4G. Today, I'm going to be doing a little experiment about resilience with the help of my younger sister, Tala. Hi. So just like STEM, resilience can be found all around us and linked to so many different things. For example, we can look at it from a personal or mental angle. It can be seen as our ability to adapt to adversity and challenging situations like being able to bounce back from a crisis. Think of a rubber band. You can stretch it out, and when you release it, it springs back into shape because it's a very resilient material. A person's resilience connects to two things, biological effects and environmental effects. Biological effects refer to what you are born with. Some people are born more sensitive to negative effects in life than others, so we all have a unique level of resilience. Take our rubber band. It is a very resilient material, able to stretch a lot before snapping. But resilience can also be developed through environmental factors, especially at a younger age. Good support systems, for example, can help increase resilience. Let's do a quick experiment with rubber bands to demonstrate this. First, we're going to stretch one rubber band to see how easy it is. As you all saw, our one rubber band was really easy to stretch and stretched a lot under the force we applied. Now, Let's try giving it nine other family members and friends and see if together our 10 rubber bands are stronger and are more resilient under the force we apply. Together, our 10 rubber bands are a lot harder to stretch. As you all saw, the 10 rubber bands together were a lot harder to stretch than the one on its own. With a good support system, our rubber band was much more resilient and able to better withstand the force we were applying. The same applies to us. Like our rubber band, we can become more resilient if we surround ourselves with good support systems. These can help us to continue to persevere in new, unexpected, and challenging environments and situations. That's it for me today. I wanted to thank Tyler for her amazing help. And now I'm going to pass you on to Indra. I can't wait to see what she has in store for you. Bye for me. Next up is a super cool experiment that is inspired by the amazing patterns of resilience displayed in nature, including water. Exactly. So in our exper experiment, we will actually demonstrate how we can challenge water to take different paths of different complexity and different levels of difficulty. And we will see that no matter what, water will always persevere and make its way to its final destination. Some paths may take more effort of the water and more time. However, water will always reach its end goal. So let's take a look.
task took longer to complete, water always reached its final destination. And that's what resilience is, always finding a way. Exactly. So because of water's amazing ability to always find its path, we can find incredible examples all around the world where water revitalized um, entirely dead or deserted landscapes. So when water found its way to those spots, whole new uh, biospheres and ecosystems of life uh, developed. Plants started to grow, insects and animals started to find a new home, and a totally self-sustaining organic system was created. So this is an amazing uh, possibility that the resilience of water offers us and uh, our environments around us. So, all our experiments today have shown us that just like science, resilience is all around us and all about creating possibilities. We don't have to look far. All we have to do is look for resilience in ourselves, our communities and in nature to find it. We hope that you will be resilient and we can't wait to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Science! You had me at hello!